Hey everyone, hope your week's going well. Today we're gonna to talk about our marketing plans. So for some of you, you may have heard these videos before we briefly talked about the marketing plan and what you need to create one. And for others, this might be completely new. So what I want you to do is if you've already heard these, we're gonna talk a bit about what to do to update it, how to keep your marketing plan up to date and current, because it is constantly changing, or it should be. Everything that we do in this industry is changing. The way social media works, the way our classes and presentations go, things are constantly shifting and changing, and our marketing plan needs to change to reflect that. Now, if we're having a lazy day or a lazy week and something hasn't gotten done, that is not something we should change in our marketing plan, but things that we can't necessarily control, things that impact our business that we don't necessarily have complete control over, those that always change. There's always things that are shifting or changing. So like we talked about yesterday, the marketing plan consists of five steps. So we have our situation analysis, our target audience, our goals, strategies and tactics, and budget. Today we're going to be talking about the first two steps. These are steps, in my opinion, they're super important, and a lot of times they're forgotten, or they're not seen as necessary, but they really set up the rest of our plan. And by having this plan, it's going to set up our success for our business. So let's talk a bit about step one, which is situation analysis, okay? So when, you, when we're talking about situation analysis, I want you to take a piece of paper, get out a whiteboard or something, however you organize yourself, and I want you to write situation analysis at the top. Underneath that, we want to define your current situation. What is currently happening in your business? What are you doing right? What are you not doing so well? The good, the bad, the ugly, right? Everything that's happening currently in your business. How is education on your team? Are you educating your business builders and your customers? Are you educated enough yourself? How is rank advancement? Are people ranking up? Are you ranking up? Are you seeing the results there? How are the commissions? Is your commission check where you want it? Are your teammates seeing the commissions that they want? How's leadership? Are you being a solid leader? Are you a good leader? Are you someone that people will follow? Someone that motivates people to succeed? How's your marketing efforts? What are you doing to promote yourself, to promote your business, to pro promote your company as in Young Living, right? What are you doing advertising wise how are you advertising your business and your classes what about enrollments how are those going are you enrolling the amount of people that you want to be enrolling are you helping your team to enroll people are you supporting those people these are just a few ideas but really dive into what is currently happening in your situation this is the time to be completely open and honest be completely real with yourself and what is happening currently in your business okay so again, like I said, the whiteboard approach. I love to use whiteboards. I write this all out. You can use paper. You can do whatever really works for you. I like to have the whiteboard. So I have one that is designated just to my marketing plan. And it doesn't change. It stays there all the time. And I will go and change it. But that whiteboard is allocated just for my marketing plan. I don't use it for anything else. Okay. Now, if you've created a marketing plan and you've gone through these five steps before, what I want you to do is I want you to take a brief moment and look at what you had written down. What was your situation a few months back when you did this? How did it look? What were you doing? And now let's look at what you've done differently. So if you said education wasn't going so well, okay, what was going bad? Identify that. And now see how it looks like it's improving. So you're going to define your current situation and compare the results with what you had before. Is it better? Are there areas that are worse? Are there different things that you need to focus on? Are there leaders that maybe aren't as happy as they were or vice versa? They're now super happy and they weren't then. Compare your current situation with what you had previously. This is something that you need to do on a regular basis. At least every three months, I am looking at my current situation. I am defining what's happening in my business. I'm defining what is going well and what is not working out. It is absolutely important to define your situation in your business on a regular basis. Okay, Every three months or so, you should set aside an hour to define what's happening in your business, to define what is going well, what's not working, what people are doing, how you're growing, your volume, everything needs to be defined. 
Take the time to do it. If you've never done this before, now's the time to get started. Go ahead and get started defining your situation and what's happening. When I do this, it typically takes me about 45 minutes to an hour. And if I'm doing it on a four by eight whiteboard, which is what I have, it will take up probably close to a third of that board. It is a huge chunk of the marketing plan, okay? I really define every detail of my business. I don't think about it. I don't guess. I just am honest with myself and I define exactly what's happening. You need to be doing the same thing. Be honest, be real. And remember, this portion of the marketing plan sets all the other steps up for success. So define what's currently happening. Okay, the next step, so step two is target audience. Okay, this is one that I think most network marketers, not just Young Living, but network marketers as a whole, they don't think about this. I have asked so many people, so who is your target? Oh, anyone that wants to use the product. Okay, if you are shooting an arrow and you're trying to shoot a target or a bullseye, the chances of you hitting that bullseye are very, very slim if you're not aiming at something. It is the same thing within our business. If you are not aiming at your target, the chances of getting those signups, getting those enrollments, finding those business builders that you're wanting aren't going to happen, okay? So think about who is your target? Who is it you're wanting to work with? Who is it that you want to help grow a business? Who is it that you want to be your customer? What does this person look like, okay? What do they do? What do they like and what do they don't like? What are their hobbies and their interests, okay? These are all things that you want to understand. You really want to know them. You want to know all the details about them and everything that they do and don't do. This is absolutely important, okay? Take the time to identify who your target audience is. So again, if you're on that four by eight whiteboard, this is going to be a smaller section, right? It's going to be a bit smaller than the first situation analysis, but yet this needs to be detailed. So let, let's talk about it. If you don't know how to identify who your target is, that's okay. Set a timer and for two to three minutes and write down every person that you come in contact with on a regular basis. Then set that timer again and this time you're going to write down qualities or characteristics, things that you bring to the table to help these people that you come in contact with. This is a great starting point to, starting point rather, to identify your target audience, to figure out who these people are, how you will work with them, how you will help them and so on. Also, talk to your business builders, look at your customers, identify back to that situation analysis who your current customer and business builder is. Sometimes we're shooting for targets that maybe really aren't our target audience. Evaluate your current customer. Look at their age range, their interests, their professions, what it is they do and don't do and use these people to potentially be your target audience. Focus on that. Don't shoot for everyone. Don't have the mindset that you're gonna, you wanna talk to every person in the world that could use oils. Specifically focus on individuals, what they like and what they don't like, groups of people, target age range. Be specific with your target. Identify those people. I work with my target. I've identified them and I'm successful with my target. The reason that I'm successful is because it fits with me. My target audience fits with me as a person. It fits with what I like to do. It fits with the type of person that I want on my team. It allows me to be more successful. If I was just working with anyone and everyone, not thinking anything about my target audience, I would not be able to be as successful. Take the time to really think about your target audience, who they are, what they do, and how you impact and can help them. Okay, adjusting the target audience. Again, target audience is something that can be adjusted. So if you've done this step before on your marketing plan, take some time to look at it. How has it gone? Have you worked well with these people? Have you had the results that you thought you wanted or should have had? Sometimes we have an idea of what our target is, and then guess what? It changes. That happens. We change our focus. Our group of people change, our location changes, 
different things happen to make our target audience need to change at times, and that's fine. Adjust it. Again, every three months, you should be taking some time to go over your marketing plan. You've just changed. So if you've done this already, you've just adjusted your situation. You've identified that. Now do the same thing with your target audience. Who is your target audience? What is it that they're doing? What is it that they need? What is it that they like? Adjust it. And remember, look at your current team to help with that. One of the things that I always hear is I don't know my target audience or I've selected a wrong one. Please help. Don't look at it that way. Look at what it is that you can do to bring value to that group of people. So once you've selected your target audience, you will know that it's the right group. You will see the success. You'll see results. You will be passionate. You will notice the difference. So definitely focus on that. Be flexible. Be willing to adjust the target audience, to work around it, to be flexible because honestly, it's going to change. Things change all the time. So take some time to do that. Okay, in conclusion, just to summarize what we've discussed today, we've discussed steps one and two of creating or adjusting your marketing plan. Step one is situation analysis where you will simply take the time to identify everything that's going good, bad, and not so good in your business. You're going to identify everything, okay? You're going to be very detailed. You're going to be very specific of what is happening. Every aspect of your business should be identified on this plan. The second step that we talked about is your target audience, your demographic, who it is you're working with, why it is you work with them, what they like, what they do. This is absolutely important. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about steps three and four, which will be your goals. So now that we've identified your situation and your target, we're going to set goals. After our goal setting, we will then talk about strategies and tactics. What is it that you have to do to make those goals a reality? Tomorrow's steps are the bulk of the marketing plan, and they're absolutely important. So take the time today to identify your situation and your target audience, so that way we can move forward creating successful goals that are realistic and going to allow you to grow but also the strategies and tactics that go along with that. The strategies and tactics that are going to help you to reach those things. So for instance, if your current situation, let's say your education is horrible, your team is not getting educated enough, okay? Your target audience is stay-at-home moms, and your goal is to hold classes to better educate stay-at-home moms on how to use the oils, okay? So a strategy or tactic of that might be to set more classes, to do a newsletter. The list goes on and on. And we're going to dive into those details tomorrow. Be specific, guys. Take the time that it needs to create a marketing plan so you can be successful. Don't see this as something that's not important or something that's not going to add value to your business. So many times people are like, oh, I could be out talking to people and doing that instead. Well, guess what? You can talk to people all day long, but if you're not talking to your target audience, you're not pitching to them correctly and you don't have a plan, you're not going to be successful. Take the time to create your plan and get ready to see success. Have a great day, guys.